Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. The 2010 guidelines uh, from the International Aid Society USA have several features that expand upon the 2008 guidelines. Um, I think the first would be an increase in the CD4 cell count threshold for starting therapy. And the reason for that is really threefold. First of all, there has been increasing inf information about the harmful effects of untreated HIV in the body. And this is a result of immune activation and a chronic inflammatory state that is caused by the unremitting replication of HIV. Secondly, this inflammation is not benign. We call people asymptomatic because they don't have AIDS-type diseases, but the truth is we are now seeing, quote, non-AIDS diseases, which are serious and which are directly linked to this chronic inflammation and immune activation associated with uncontrolled viremia. So we now feel that the risks of untreated infection are beginning to tip the scale towards earlier therapy. Now adding to this, concerns in the past about losing treatment options over time are now countered by the fact that we have a number of new drugs from new classes and that these drugs make it possible to preserve treatment options over the long haul for patients. So we've had very effective initial antiretroviral therapy for quite a while now, quite a few years. But I think the difference is that we now have options down the line. So newer drugs that are potent, simple, uh, tolerable, really allow us to take that step of putting people on antiretroviral therapy at earlier CD4 cell counts, knowing that we're going to have something to give them if resistance uh, develops over time. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mitchell Zoller.